Hello guys, welcome back to the AWS S3 Bucket course. In this video, we'll learn more about storage classes. So in the previous videos, we learned about you know archiving different uh, you know objects to different storages. Uh, let's say you want to like not archive it per se, but you just want to store at a temporary location before you know fully archiving them. You have a different location and so and so forth, right? So we are going to learn more about those classes right now. So where the objects are getting stored and what class has been assigned to them. So when you just push an object into the bucket you are ideally going to be defaultly you know or we're going to be pushing it to s3 standard or reduced redundancy storage so s3 standard is the basic the default storage so that's if you don't specify anything per se you'll be storing it here and these things can be accessed in real time like as very quickly no 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 data latency or anything around that matter right these things can be accessed pretty quickly and there are two types of s3 standard and reduced redundancy now reduce redundancy basically is like a design for non-critical reproducible data that can be stored with less redundancy than the s3 standard storage class right so pretty much uh it's pretty much the same just that you f feel that you you know the data can be stored with lesser redundancy you use the reduced redundancy one moving forward you have s3 standard ia and one zone ia Standard IA basically means that it, uh, the data is getting stored redundantly across multiple geographically separated availability zones. Right? Um, to give this more uh, easily or easier understanding is that you know what? Uh, it, it's not as easily accessible as the standard storage, but then it's going to be like you know available, it's going to be put up in different uh, availability zones and uh, you can actually uh easily access it uh, to an extent and you know it gives you some resilient features and everything around that but if you go for an one zone ia it's a bit more like you know confined to a single zone so which makes it lesser accessible and lesser available so and it becomes a bit more cheaper too for that matter right so it's uh, so we see this these are different different standards so even more there are more storage classes like s3 glacier the glacier archive and lot more lot more different storage classes are available all of them differ by a small 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 margins about how much accessibility or availability and reliability they provide uh, depending on which the cost also reduces so it is all about how you wanna what are the different storage classes available and how what where uh, what objects has to be stored and something about that 